Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Johnny and today's video I'm going to teach you how to evolve Farfetch into a Surfetch. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get an item called the Large Leak. Basically the Large Leak is a ingredient I believe and you're going to give it to your Pokemon Farfetch. Now this item can actually be obtained in the wild area, that's where I found them. Um, just go around the wild area until you're able to acquire this item. So make sure to look around until you're able to get it. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to have to go into a Pokemon battle and you're going to have to get three critical hits. If you don't get these three critical hits, you're not going to be able to actually evolve your Pokemon. So you have to get the three critical hits in a Pokemon battle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't evolve by, uh, by XP points. You have to get critical hits in order for it to evolve. All right, so the the thing I recommend is doing it in a Pokemon battle with trainers. Obviously, I already beat the game, so I really am pretty screwed. I don't have anybody I can battle to get it. But either way, you can still do it in the wild. It's just going to be a little bit harder. Um, and yeah. So I recommend you use the item Dire Hit as well, simply because it's really useful if you use it. Because it will give you the opportunity to... to it will give you the opportunity to go get a critical more easier. So I would recommend you use Dire Hit. Um, it, it just it just helps a lot and it's more easier as well. Alright, so as you guys can see this freaking Pokemon paralyzed me with a body slam. And I'm not able to attack it at all. Which it was totally unexpected. Alright, so we're going to have to full restore. Um, it's kind of hard like I said it's better to do it when there's trainers because then you can just full restore and if they have like four Pokemon you know you can just keep doing the the same thing that I'm doing which is attacking them and hopefully I don't get paralyzed again by body slam and yes obviously this one keeps paralyzing me by body slam while I even though I have dire hit I can't really do anything about it because it keeps paralyzing me so I have to be careful and uh, hopefully my paralyzation goes away and he stopped using body slam. So he is rest, which is a good thing that he's using rest right now because now I can kind of get into the hitting his hitting the Pokemon and getting critical hits. Uh, I kind of hate it that, that there is a fog here. Um, well, there's not a fog. Um, basically, it's helling. So, um, yeah, I might have to defog that. Um, and the thing is is you don't want to take down your opponent like you like like literally if he goes down You're screwed. You can't even do anything about it um, Which kind of sucks um, So let's see if I can defog I don't know if defog will work what the hell I I'd rather him wake up and then me try to get a critical simply because it will probably Heal himself because uh, honestly if I hit him one more time with that brutal swing he's gonna go down let's go ahead and try to do that then I guess because I can have no other option all right uh, I was hoping he was gonna do something else but I guess he went ahead and did that which is kind of dumb let's hope uh, I'm just gonna use detect even if it fails I need uh, that Wilmer to go back to sleep. That way I can um, go ahead and start attacking it. And yeah, I just need him to go to sleep one more time so he can get full HP again. <clears throat> Alright, good thing he used uh, the rest. That means I'll be able to attack him once again. And it, it's really tedious. I mean, I mean, the, there's no other way around it. Um, if you if you already beat all the Pokemon, uh, but obviously if you go to the Champions Cup, you'll, you'll probably be able to do it easier there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and use another Brutal Swing. Hopefully I get a critical, um, which I doubt I will. Okay, I got another critical, but as you guys know, I don't really want to hit him once more because it, it might not even work. So I'm going to let him go ahead and revive himself or wake up or something. That way the Wilmer can actually rest again. And um, yeah, if, 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 if I'm not able to, if I'm not able to actually, if I'm not able to get him to wake up, I'm going to have to, 
Okay, good thing he woke up. I just need him to go to sleep one more time and I can hit him again and hopefully he, I get a critical. Um, the reason I'm doing it this way, guys, is because I have no other option. Like, seriously, I really don't have any other option um, because I'm already to the point where <laughs> I can't do it differently. So let's go ahead and see if he goes to rest. I mean, he should. I mean, he already has pretty weak blood um, or HP, I mean. Okay, he used rest, which is a good thing. Now I should be able to attack him once more. Okay, so let's see if he gets his full rest and I'm able to attack him one more time. I used defog, which was kind of stupid again. Either way, um, I'm not trying to like weaken my my opponent. I'm just trying to get those three, three critical hits. After we get those three critical hits, we should be able to take him out. Brutal Swing may have been the probably a little bit of a OP move. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't think I would recommend it. All right, so we got the critical hit, guys. That's three critical hits. Uh, we should be set to go. Um, obviously, if you're in a Pokemon Trainer battle, it will be easier. Um, so you don't have to worry about it. So that's three critical hits in a row. That means our Pokemon is gonna evolve. Hopefully he doesn't wake up. I want to go ahead and take him out completely. That way I am able to already <laughs> get my Pokemon going. Oh crap! Oh, that was that was a close one. That was a really close one. All right, I managed to take him down, and I have like four critical hits right there. It's only three that you need. You don't really need four, so yeah, there's only three of them. Alright, so we got four critical hits in this whole match, and then your Pokemon should evolve. As you guys can see, he's already evolving. Three critical hits will get your Farfetch to evolve, uh, which is the most epic thing ever. I don't know why they made it so confusing, though. It was like, uh, I was like, what? So that's how you get Surfetched? Okay. So that's how you get Surfetched, guys. Um, basically do that, and you should be set in order to get your evolution for Farfetch. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a nice day.